looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the madden 21 market now i have not went over the market in what feels like forever obviously it's later in the game you know market and everything's been you know it's a little less predictable at this point we kind of know what the deal is the whole thing's pretty much just down overall because there's just so many players now right so like back in august back in september we had golds and base elites so base elites without you know base elites were pretty the, the, the value was easy low base elites were lower prices high base elites were higher prices right that's kind of what we dealt with at the time now the thing with this though is we have now have had base elites superstar mvp the october promo you know most feared harvest three different style christmas promos we've had presents we've had you know, uh, um, what's called team of the year. And that's just to name a few, right? So at this point, we're saturated with so many different players. How can one card be valued more than another? You know what I mean? At this point, we're kind of just at a point where most cards around certain overalls are within similar price points. Obviously, the end game cards are the only cards that are really holding value right now. And by end game cards, I mean cards that you could put on your team right now, power up, and you could have them until the day this game, you know, ends. And we have, we're into Madden 22. So for instance, an end game card uh, would be like, uh, let's say, come on down. Like a Herschel Walker, maybe a John Randall, a uh, Jonathan Ogden. These are the guys that can be powered up, chemed up to 99, and will hold value most of the year just because of, you know, their overall. Now, by hold value, there isn't going to come a point like in two months when even these Ultimate Legends only go for like 150k. And that's just going to be because now we have all 99s. Now, that's not to say they're not endgame, right? Being powered up to 99 and having all those stats are still endgame. The difference is there's going to be cards that are even better at endgame. You know what I mean? It's not to say that the other cards aren't good. It's just that there's going to be cards that are insane. And if we go above 100 stats, that's going to change this whole thing dramatically. But it really just depends if we end up going above 100 stats. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the noti bell. Always come join the family. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been up to. And, of course, if you guys do need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below. Super cheap coins. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Now, heading on down. We're going to start up here. So, 98 overall. The cheapest 98 overall you can get in the game is actually an LTD Baker Mayfield now. It's not because Baker Mayfield's not good. I think it's mainly because he's an improviser and he doesn't have a power-up. Had he had a power-up, this card would be absolutely insane because that power-up would get him to a 99 plus chems, right? As well as, you know, Sprinter to a 91 instead of a 90. Would make some differences. As well as some other stats that maybe might have hit threshold with the power-up, maybe might not have. You know, but the speed in the 90 is a big deal. You know, speed in 91. Um, the throw power would have been, you know, throw power is in 99. All the stats pretty much get to 99 anyways. But having a power up is always a big deal for a lot of people. If you can't be powered up, you kind of get out of that end game conversation, regardless of your abilities. You know what I mean? That's kind of just been a thing. But Baker Mayfield is really good. But he's the cheapest one. I'm moving on down, guys. These Ultimate Legends that have been the newer ones are holding a lot of value. Now, they're holding value because Ultimate Legends are typically really good cards. Like Herschel Walker will be a 99 speed, 99 truck, 99 break tackle. You know, back. That's just. It's pretty self-explanatory why he's holding value, and so on and so forth with a few other guys on this list. Now, like I said, these Ultimate Legends, I'm, I'm not saying sell them, obviously, right? Because they're, they're amazing, they're endgame right now, but in the next two months, they will drop. Now, the reason I won't recommend to sell is just because, here's the thing, it's the end of the year. You know, you guys probably want to have fun. Coins are less valuable at this point. Had this been early in the year, I would say sell immediately because we both know these cards, 500k will not last 500k. They will end up being two three hundred four hundred k in the next coming weeks issue is you know this is the end of the year if you guys sell your team now will you come back you know what i mean like what is there to keep you on the game like early in the year it was easy i'll sell my team i'll buy it back in four days when the market crashes meantime I'll play some solo battles i'm going to play some i have to grind out solos that i had to do i have a level up grind plenty of stuff to distract me for the next four days right now you know you sell your team is there really enough stuff to do to keep you busy? No, maybe you put the game down for four days and you may never come back, right? Like that guy, you ever see those memes of like that guy you played Xbox with and you said, you know, see, I got to get off for school, I'll see you tomorrow. And then it's like last online 12 years ago. Like that's what happens when you sell your team now. So I wouldn't recommend selling. We're more just talking about the state of the market. You know, I would, I, at this point, like it's not a buying, it's not definitely not a buying opportunity, right? But it, I wouldn't say it's a selling. A buying opportunity will be when the next big promo comes out, whether it's Golden Tickets, Easter, all season. That promo comes out, that's when you go ahead and buy these guys. Now, if you already have them, hold on to them, right? Because at this point, if you bought them, you probably know what you're doing, right? I wouldn't recommend you go ahead and start selling stuff in that case. But like I said, it's also not a buying opportunity. These are very expensive cards regardless. Opinion, like my personal opinion, if you have them, you keep them. If you don't have them, you wait a little bit longer. Like I said, we will be getting a big promo in the near future, whether it's Team Diamonds 2, Off Season, Golden Tickets, Easter, whatever it is. It's going to drop prices down. 
so definitely wait and like golden tickets are even more crazy so that that that's that's like the one end game set of cards that will destroy the market because that that's going to be like we want everyone wants those cards right you'll be selling your herschel walker and your john randall to get enough coins for that one you know one golden ticket you'll be selling multiple players for that that was it for here, guys. Then, of course, there's the Brady and the Darius. So these guys are holding some value. Uh, part because they're LTD, part because they're insane. Javon Curse. Now, guys, there's one guy I'd recommend selling. If you have a Javon Curse, I, I don't know if... I mean, like, he's good and all, but eight, nine, almost a million coins for a non-LTD card. The, no, honestly, all year, this is the most expensive card. Like, oh, besides Barry Sanders, right? Barry Sanders and Javon Curse are the two players I've seen in recent history that are set, uh, like set players and hold this value. Now, the Diamond one, the Diamond Master makes kind of, it kind of makes sense because it requires you to do a set, right? For one, one play in the Diamond set, you have to do a set, which takes like 22 players to make one team Diamond play, and then you need 32 of those. So it's just hundreds of players you need to you know, do that set. Javon Curse is just two guys. It's very weird. I mean, I guess the whole value just because, you know, the, it was a quick hitter promo, not a lot of cards. But still, I don't know. That's a lot. I mean, a million coins for one pass rusher. I know he's good and all, but you can always just get Ricky Jackson, put him in an end right there, you know, like for, you know, fraction of the price, half almost. Oh, um, maybe not. Let's see. Is it half? Okay. It's like, it's not half. It's only 200K less, but still, I mean, wow, they're expensive right now, but they're going to come down. Like I said, if you have them, keep them. If you don't have them, I wouldn't recommend buying just yet. Now, coming on down to the 97 or 96 range, um, I mean, like I said, look at the big drop off. That's it. These cards were the top tier cards a month ago, but we are now officially in the 99 powered up territory. We are now officially into 98, 99, or even 97s that can get up. So 96s are officially just about dead. You know what I mean? Like that's it. They're still okay. They're still going. They're still holding decent. Honestly, this is decent value. Not gonna lie. If you have them, guys, I would start moving them because we're here. We're at the tipping point, right? We're at the tipping point where 96 are gonna fall off a cliff. We are one or two weeks away from getting set 99s that can be powered up to 99, like powered already 99 that can be powered up again. And they introduced a hundreds of first off, backup, pause. If we get up to guys that are base 99 and we get a few more cars that you know, like, and the issue is there's not a lot of them, right? There's only a few 98s, right? A few, like a, like four or three of them. So you can't fill out your team like that, right? You still can't fill out your team with a strong safety and a tight end and all those guys just yet, right? Because like, or, you know, Jeremy Shockey, but you, there's still, no, you know, maybe not the left tackle, maybe not the free safety, maybe not the strong safety, maybe not the uh, the wide receiver, right? So that is why these players are holding value because these might be the only ones you want, you, you can get right now. Once it gets saturated, like once there's enough 98s in the game to fill up every position, you have to understand that these are going to die off because right now the only reason these are still in it because these are fillers, right? Like if there's not a 98 yet or 97, once we get a 90, uh, uh, like literally two more weeks, we'll have enough 98s to pretty much saturate a whole team. Like you could build a whole team out of those 98s and 97s. 96 market will die. It'll probably come down to around 150, 120. At that point, they're losing a lot of value. Like I said, if you have 96s, I'd actually recommend you could sell a few of them if you have them. Like just sitting around, you're not really even using them. I'd recommend that would be the time. Um, you know, the mud, mud heroes again, that's what I'm saying. There's 97 overalls. But the issue with that the 97s aren't going to kill the market yet because they're okay cards. You're not all of them are meta. And not to mention, then only one away from 96. Now, 98s actually at 99. And a lot of people, you know, OCD, they want to get 99s in their team, right? Getting a 97 is like, okay, that, that's cool, but you don't want to be 90, 99. But the 98s, they'll replace them instantly because they, they think that once they get the 98, their team is done, right? You power it up, chem them up. 99 overall, set and forget it. We're no, we're no more spending in that position, right? So that's kind of the benefit of that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. That's what I really want to go over, just kind of like get, you know, getting that spiel out about the market and things. But like, you go down to 94, 95. What happened to 94 95, right? They're all 120. And the only reason they're holding value, guys, is more more or less training. They're not even holding value because people are really buying them and, you know, actually using them consistently. But my point being here is you see that the 94 market died as we got the 97s and 98s. Now, as we get the 98s and 99s, 95 and 96 market's going to die. You know, 96, 97 market's going to start dying. It's, it's, a, it's a chain effect. Watch. So then if you go down one more, you know, 65K, these cards used to be two, 300K. So it's just a market, it's a fact. So this is the 60K range. This is going to be the 100K range. Uh, sorry, next one's gonna be the 100K range and it's gonna keep dying. So as we fill out the 98 to 99 range, you're gonna see this range right here drop down to, you know, the 80K range. And you're gonna effectively see this range right here. Like, as I said, this will become the 128, 129. This will become the 128, 129 once we saturate this top, uh, you know, top filter. But guys, that pretty much is it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you need coins, head over to my coin bank down below. Use code Poodle. Take advantage of the extra, extra cheap coins. Uh, but that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.